Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we're looking at a Royal Guard Champion Villain Pack for Star Wars Imperial Assault. Um, we've been doing, uh, this just continues Imperial Assault Week here on What's Inside as my buddy Wyatt ordered a whole bunch of cool Imperial Assault stuff and he's nice enough to let me open it all up and uh, look at it before he gets a chance to. So... Major appreciation to him for that, and let's uh, open this up and see what we got here. Inside is supposed to be one plastic figure, one rule sheet, one deployment card, three agenda cards, seven command cards, two skirmish mission cards. You only need the core game to play with this guy, so uh, he's, he'd be good a good one to add on to a, an Imperial team if you've only got the core rules. And usually you can find uh, some of these um, non-mean characters a little bit cheaper. I'm going to use the scissors to open them up, and uh, as always, um, get permission from a responsible adult before using scissors. Although everybody buying this game is probably old enough to do that. Uh, this is put out by Fantasy Flight, and these figures range, as of this recording in 2017, from around uh, $10 to $15. Sometimes more, sometimes less. I always recommend buying stuff on sale, because I'm cheap. Uh, but that's not always possible um, Sometimes the guys like this one and like the Grand Inquisitor are a little easier to find Because they're not main characters from the movies, which you know most people are gonna want to get All right, you got to be a little careful with these because the edges are gonna be kind of sharp because of the, the security packaging on them And you got to be careful not to cut your cards by accident. All right, so let's look at the figure first. Ooh, that's really cool looking. Yeah, he looks really cool. Uh, actually looks pretty tough. So that's a cool looking mini like always. Uh, very nice sculpt, pretty solid figure. Fancy Flight does really good work. So, uh, let's look at the cards now. First we'll get the sheet out here and look at the uh, Royal Guard Champion skirmish stuff. Alright, so we got our contents list like always. Then we've got our map. Um, this one is the Kuat Space Station uh, skirmish map. And this is all maps out of the core box from the look of it. Um, supposedly you don't need anything else to play, so everything should be in the main box. It uses quite a lot of tiles. That's a pretty big looking map. So over here on the skirmish, or the uh, side mission, is an infection map. Uh, this one looks a little smaller, but probably just as good. So usually the side missions are pretty cool. They really add a lot to the game, and that's really what you're buying the figure for. Because, um, you know, the model representation with those tokens is a little boring but the extra missions are really cool add-on in my opinion at least all right let's check out all these cards there's a lot of them here if you don't want spoilers on the cards uh better shut the video off now because i have no shame in spoiling a card game or a miniatures game all right let's go through all these command cards first because there's so many of them you get seven in the box so let's see what we got here. Parting Blow Brawler Interrupt when a hostile figure exits an adjacent space. Before that figure moves, perform an attack targeting that figure, then you become stunned. It's a pretty harsh trade-off. Parting Blow Interrupt when a hostile figure oh, This is for brawlers. Interrupt when a hostile figure exits an adjacent space. Before that figure moves, Perform an attack targeting that figure. Then you become stunned. Counterattack. Brawler. Use after an attack targeting you is resolved. If you are not defeated and are adjacent to the attacker, the attacker suffers 2 damage. Cripple. Brawler or Hunter. Exhaust. Choose an adjacent hostile figure. Until the end of the round, that figure cannot voluntarily exit its space. Bodyguard, Guardian, when, use when an attack targeting an adjacent friendly figure is declared. If you could be the target of that attack, 
the attack targets you instead. And there's another bodyguard. Uh, Fury of Blades, Royal Guard Champion. Exhaust twice, perform three attacks. It's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, let's look at our cards here. All right, first card we're going to look at is the, uh, the three agenda cards. Uh, Infection, Solist Imperial Facility, Crimson Empire. Play this card as a side mission, as side mission Infection Royal Guard Champion pack. After Rebels resolve any other side mission, discard this card and receive the reward listed below. Reward, Royal Guard Champion Villain. Uh, best of the best. Keep this card secret during any mission. You may spend one influence to play this card when you deploy a Guardian group. While attacking, figures in that group apply a plus one surge to the attack results. While defending, figures in your group apply a plus one cancel to the defense results. Discard this card at the end of this mission or when all figures in that group are defeated. Pulling the strings. This one's only one influence. Place this card in your play area. At the start of each Imperial upgrade stage, the Rebels may spend 300 credits to discard this card. If they do not, you receive one influence. Alright, let's look at our skirmish cards here. A. Data Heist. Kuat Space Station. Doors are locked. At the start of each round, for each terminal a player controls, he may open one door of his choice. End of each round. Close both doors. Then the player who controls the data core gains 10 VPs. Incoming transmission. Kuat Space Station. A figure occupying a space outside of a deployment zone cannot interact to open a door. End of each round. Place one strain token on each relay station. Then each player who controls a relay station may discard that relay station to gain 3 VPs for each strain token on it. And lastly, we got our character card here. Royal Guard Champion, Guardian Brawler, 15 points. Surge uh, Bleed, Surge Pierce 2, Surge plus 2 damage. Exhaust Brutality, perform 2 attacks. Each attack must, may, must have... Each attack must have a different target. Executioner. When a friendly figure within three spaces is defeated, you may interrupt to move up to two spaces, then perform an attack. Wow. Limit once per round. Uh, health 13, speed 6, defense 1 black, 1 white. Attack of uh, 1 red, 1 uh, green, and 1 yellow. He's pretty tough. Uh, that's a pretty impressive um, card for a guy that's, you know, just kind of a, a no-name character. So this one would be a good one to add to, to your villain assortment, I would think. But that is going to do it for this episode. Thanks again to Wyatt for letting me uh, go through all his cool toys. This is the Royal Guard Champion Villain Pack for Star Wars Imperial Assault. You, of course, need the core game to play. But that'll do it for this episode. As always, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next time on What's Inside.